Good day. My name is Rory McGrail. I'm a professor at Athabasca University, which is Canada's open university. And I am also a UNESCO Commonwealth of Learning, International Council for Distance and Open Education Chair in Open Educational Resources. Open Educational Resources are free uh, content, textbooks, games, uh, multimedia, video, etc., um, that can be freely downloaded and used, uh, re reused, remixed, remashed, any way you want. Um, and uh, they're freely available on the internet. Um, as opposed to commercial content, which is licensed, or even uh, um, materials produced by uh, teachers uh, that is not openly licensed, um, you cannot use it the way uh, you may want to use it. And so, um, as part of my role as a chair in Open Educational Resources, uh, it is my responsibility uh, to disseminate information about Open Educational Resources uh, institutionally within Athabasca University, um, nationally within Canada, and internationally, and particularly uh, with developing countries. I've been involved in open educational resources from their very beginnings in the late 1990s. Um, it evolved from the learning object movement, where many of us were researching how to adapt and use learning objects on the internet uh, uh, in, in different uh, pedagogical ways. And we determined very early that if the content was licensed uh, commercially, um, or if it did not have even an open license uh, explicitly on it, um, we could do very little with the content. Um, there were so many restrictions that it became impossible for to us to use and share the content and work together with it. Um, one of the uh, main problems we have with the um, commercial content is the digital rights management or technologically protection measures. And these are digital locks that the uh, vendors, the publishers put onto their eBooks and uh, other uh, 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 content uh, to restrict you from using your device the way you want to use it. So these locks, for example, prevent you from copying and pasting content, uh, from transferring it to another device, uh, from using different formats, uh, from uh, uh, adding to it or changing it, annotating uh, the content. So it, it, it's very restrictive on your device. And even, for example, if you move from one country to the other, um, it prohibits you, it stops you uh, technologically from using the content in another uh, country. Um, along with that, they have legal restrictions and these legal restrictions reinforce the uh, technological protection measures. And uh, they basically say that you cannot legally do uh, what, the, uh, the, what you are being prevented from doing. And with other additions, uh, for example, uh, you are not allowed to share um, your material. So as if your student has an e-textbook on his or her computer, uh, they cannot share it with other students. And uh, these are very restrictive elements that uh, we as educators cannot afford to live with. That is why I suggest to you, and I'm actively promoting, that we move away from commercial content and start using more and more uh, open educational resources. Um, the, this is a very important uh, uh, consideration uh, because it is my belief that uh, it becomes almost impossible for educators to use commercial content in the ways they would like. Uh, there are many different ways of mixing, mashing, remixing, augmenting, uh, removing content, localizing content, and we should be able to do that, and open educational resources are the way that we can do that. So I'll stop this short uh, video and say thank you very much to everyone for listening to me. Uh, goodbye, I sign off. Yours.